Well, hello there, you two. Ugh, yes, look at that barn with the frozen top on it. It's 31 degrees out here. Today's the uh, 14th of December. It is a Tuesday. There's a dusting of snow around the Vancouver area this morning. I don't think we've had any precipitation here. It's plenty cold. Even warming up the war wagon this morning. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday. This could be interesting going to work. Look at the steam coming off of that thing. Amazing the amount of condensation from a little four cylinder engine. I know it. <laughs> it was a whole cloud. Yeah, it was. The whole carport was covered. Back that was more. Yeah, it's really pummeling out the back. <laughs> it's amazing how much just a combustion engine can create all that. It's so cold out. Yeah, plenty gold. At the old Toledo post office. Whoever sent this. Thank you very, very much. It doesn't has the company name on there, but it doesn't say who sent it. I'll show you guys when I get to work. I don't think because of YouTube I can open it up, but you'll see what it looks like. How many of you know what a case is? You gotta know. If you're a guy, you gotta know. <laughs> In that time of year where they're graveling for the ice which is all fine and dandy and it's better than salt anytime as far as vehicles are concerned but now when you get a nice dry day you gotta be very aware of that when you're on a boat pickle yeah that's slippery yeah it's uh, kind of slippery a very pleasing drive to work Yes, nice was. not fighting the crazy downpour. I know it. Although it's quite icy it was in slippery. Toledo. Yeah, it's yeah. slickery. We had it all graveled up in all the right places. Mm -hmm. What is it, Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Mama, have yourself a wonderful Tuesday. You too, happy hub. And I'll see you throughout the day. Sounds Definitely good. seeing you here the last couple of days because Christmas stuff coming <laughs> and I know it. I'm checking shipping <clears> and I just, you know, want to make sure when it shows up here somebody sees it and ends yeah, up in our hand doesn't go somewhere to uh, the abyss yeah it's a big store things get lost yeah <laughs> all right all right <laughs> excuse me oh, i was trying right. to hold that thing the whole Your time thing. <laughs> i thought i should just stop and start over <laughs> nah, just cough. let it let her rip yeah all right mama all love right. you see you bye i love you <laughs> bye, bye now bye so whoever sent this thank you so very much. Look at that. My dad had one with a yellow handle like that. I used to use that thing for fishing when I was a kid. I don't want to open the blade. It may be some weird thing with YouTube. But very, very nice. Oops. That's cool. I recently discovered that something that I've had like all my life, there's actually a name for it. It's called Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. You'll see it listed most often as ASMR. It is a, you ever have, I mean, I know you have this, but you have it. When you hear a sound or you see something, uh, that just literally makes you freeze and it just gives you almost this euphoria thing sounds probably do it more than than anything else by far sounds like one of the things that i have is the sound of buildings like hotels businesses and whatever and i don't really notice it when i'm here but i notice it when I'm editing the videos, it's the sound that this building makes. Now just, there'll probably be other interrupting sounds, but just listen to this for a second. Hear that humming sound? 
It's just ventilation systems and whatever. Hotels are great for it. When Kelly and I stayed at the Marriott um, block or two over from uh, Ground Zero in New York City, we were, I forget how many floors up we were, but that building made that sound. Oh, man. Kelly goes, you are so weird. Other things to do it. Um, in the mornings when the, all the dogs are in the house and they're eating, that crunching sound of all the dogs eating, it just reminds me of dogs throughout my life when I was a kid and I don't know, the sound of dogs, especially six of them all eating at once. I don't know, it's just the most pleasing thing. And if I can sit there and watch Sasha, she's just my little princess there. If I can see her, I get that feeling big time. Um, one of the things Kelly used to always do little craft things for the kids and stuff like that all the time, just sitting there watching her do that and just a piece of it, her concentration, just watching her, it just, this tingling goes all over you. Some people don't have it. If you look in the, just type in ASMR and, um, see what you'll, you find all kinds of explanations for it. Um, another one that gets me really good is, uh, droning down the highway on a Harley, especially if you're like on a trip or something and the scenery is beautiful. And then just that drone, just that ever, ever soothing drone. And then the feel of that thing, just that really soft rumbling massage chair feeling that they give you when you're going along, man, I, on, on trips, I've literally had to like I got to stop because I'm just going to close my eyes and not wake up kind of a thing it is so soothing unbelievably soothing I thought it was just something that happened to me as I was a kid the more I looked into it the more I'm going this thing's for real this is a thing that some people have thankfully and I do mean thankfully I have it oh man it'll make me freeze freeze in place if you don't have it, that sounds very weird to you. If you have it, um, you know what I'm talking about. So I take the old, this is not the last new one with the fan and stuff all swapped over to it. The fan wasn't damaged. It was just that, that one bracket got broke. And um, anyway, I'm taking that thing off and I just got this last little inside hose here. You have the tank hose, which is laying there. And uh, this little crossover hose and then the upper and lowers. Because it's hard to get your hand in there. And then pops off, jumps out of my hand, hits the pan that's mixed with oil and coolant, flies out of there, and it spins. When it spins, it gets all over the bike, all over the floor. There's still some of it in the little cushioning thing there. Everywhere. And then, you know, towards the end of the day, I was letting the... I lifted it up for something, and then I, when I had it in the air, it's cooling all on the exhaust. It even went down into one of the little cups there in the cylinder. I'm like, dude, I didn't spill anything. Everything went right into that bucket. And uh, so I go around to the other side. I had it up in the air, and I was going to let it down. I realized there's speckles of coolant everywhere over there, too. I hate dealing with coolant. Look in my garage. Is there anything? anything that has a radiator on it nope cars that's it huge fan of no nothing with coolant through all the years of dealing with water pumps and radiators and hoses and all that stuff not a fan as long as they make them air cooled i'm a huge huge follower so here's the crazy setup Here's your switches, is your, your pressure gauge. This is going to the radiator. This is all part of this tool kit. This is an exhaust for any after gases or, cause you gotta purge the system. You gotta get it bled. And um, your air, your system air, is gonna go here. And that's what's gonna power everything. And then I'll fill this bottle up with a, oops, point at what I'm working on. 
fill that bottle it was a certain amount i got to have in there of a 50 50 bmw antifreeze and then this will connect to that and when i once i got it bled and i open up the gullet she'll go whoosh, and you till the pressure equalizes so initially it's going to start off with line pressure need to be within the the bars there or kilopascals whatever inch inches hydrogen every all the specs everything's in bars with uh, bmw so you go by the the uh, 0.8 to 0.9 bars so get to that flush it and let her go until she bleeds off and there you have um, not only filled it with coolant, but you bled the system as well. So it basically pressurized, puts a negative pressure on the system and then replaces it with coolant. Craziest thing, huh? And the bottle <laughs> where this, this piece is here, because that nozzle is going to be down there needs to be higher than the uh than the cap <laughs> what a setup huh all right here we go i know this is loud see the system's bubble free and now i'm gonna connect this and release the release the, the beast so she's pretty much stopped pulling coolant and my pressure, well, she has stopped because there is no pressure left. Then you disconnect air. This will bleed out whatever's left in that. Disconnect the radiator cap. Open your valves and whatever's in the line will draw back down into the bottle. I've topped off the reservoir bottle. And as you can see, the coolant is very safely sitting right at the very top of the radiator. She's a fully bled system. Kind of a pain in the butt to use, but man, if I'd have used this on the old war wagon, I wouldn't have fought that thing for a while. But uh, yeah, it worked really, really well. Just a pain in the butt to use. Just one of those things, you know. <laughs> all right, clean up my mess and uh. I've got the frame, all the new framework all set up. I just have to install it. Install the erector set. These are all new pieces here. All this is, this is all new. These are the two new sides and uh, just need to put that together and put dash and turn signals and nine miles of, of uh, wiring and uh, she'll be done. Just need to put plastic pieces on after that. When you're done, go upstairs and freeze yourself off by using a water hose. Clean everything out, and in true BMW fashion, everything has a place. It all neatly tucks in there. Of course, it all pops out. You gotta shut the lid on it. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? I didn't think what that thing cost. That gummit came right back. The guy didn't leave i mean he hadn't even been gone 10 15 minutes turn signals quit working again so i'm gonna pull the dash back out and use that bmw uh um terminal cleaner i'm gonna go through man if that doesn't fix it i'm just assuming it's a connection all of that is controlled through the dash and we have no control over the dash hmm all right, wish us luck. So I went through all the all the pins in the dash with the uh, BMW cleaner. I mean, they look good looking at it with a jeweler's loop. I mean, they look perfect. That's what kind of scares me. Then I got a terminal test kit and all the terminals. I uh, shot some electrical contact cleaner in there and blew it out softly and um, all the pins feel the resistance in them feel perfect. So, hmm. God, I hope it's not inside that dash. I don't know what these things are, but 
they're not cheap. Man, I hate, it's been a while because I don't see these very much anymore, but Ryan and I have put a lot of dashes in these things. Never had one because of the turn signals though, but unfortunately that's what's controlling the flashing. The switch and everything is working and today, same thing, the flasher still works, so the whole circuit's working. Something to do with flashing and turning on the turn signals. And uh, yeah, unfortunately there's no way of seeing inside that thing and reading the board and they're, these things aren't fixable anymore. You just replace them, unfortunately. Bummer, but a dude's gotta have turn signals. I don't think they even teach how to use hand signals anymore. Bought me a dedicated, long, six millimeter Allen specifically for doing the clutch side of the uh, 2020 and newer RTs and uh, adding a little patch kit to my uh, little tire plunger survival kit goodies well hello there YouTube made it home safe and sound roads were dry the whole way home very odd not on one like it stars in the sky yeah. nice really nice and when we left it's still a little twilight in the in the sky i think we've already passed the shortest sunset of the year it's not the shortest day but i think the shortest sunset has already passed so sunset wise it's probably it ain't had much but it's going one yeah, way or the other but bit. Yeah, but ain't a little bit. It's good. Yeah. We pay more attention to the sunset than the sunrise anyway. I know it. So, anyway, it was a nice day at work. Mm -hmm. Beautiful outside all day. It was. It was cold, but it was Plenty it cold. Was pretty. Holy moly, yeah. But I think we're just going to make a short sweep and bail on out. Go save the dogs. I know it, because they're woo-wooing yeah. oh, out yeah. there. It's early enough, they're still all excited. They'll get <laughs> quiet here in a minute. But. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Heck yeah. Alright. And we'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. Whoever sent the knife, thank you yes. very much. That's a very nice knife. Yeah, I think it's way cool. That's way cool. Well, there and sit there. Sit there. Yeah, he will sit there and go like this and play oh, with it. Fondle. Yes. See if I can He's not cut fiddler. myself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't open it while you're fiddling. Yeah. All right. That's it. Bye-bye.